Another video tutorial from computergaga.com. This tutorial will look at using the dget function within Microsoft Excel. Now the dget function I hardly ever come across within my day to day life as a trainer, but it is absolutely awesome. The questions I do get asked can easily be solved uh, with the use of this function. And these questions normally revolve around kind of looking up data and limitations with VLOOKUP. Now dget is part of the database functions category of Excel. It's a really powerful function as they all are. And its job is to look up data within a database and return information from that record. For example, we could look up an order in this list on screen at the moment and return the salesperson or the order amount or what product we've ordered, that kind of stuff. Now, some of the strengths that come with a database function, or sorry, with dget, if we were to compare them to the likes of vlookup and hlookup, is that they can handle multiple conditions. So I could get it to look for a certain order, date, certain salesperson, certain product, you know, as much as I want. There is no limit to its power. And second of all, it can look for data to the left of the column we're searching in, which the example I'm hoping to use will do, which is something that vlookup cannot do. Let's have a look at the dget in action. On the right hand side, I've set up some criteria ranges which I'll need ready. So I've currently got order ID in cell I2. Very important that the text there exactly matches what's in B1. So any, you know, the headings along the first row of my database here. And it's gonna look for order ID 11248. So in cell J3, I would like to return a salesperson from the order which should return Buchanan, 11248. So, if we write equals, dget. So database functions are sometimes referred to as uh, D functions, because you just put the letter D in front of uh, what may already be a normal function, such as D sum or D average. So we've got dget, open in bracket, and it will ask for three arguments. Where's your database? What field, you know, what column is the data in that you wanna return? and what is the criteria. So the database is going to be all of this list. So I'm going to click in A1, and I'll do Control shift down arrow Control shift right arrow to grab the whole of that data, and I'll press F4 to fix that range as well. So look within A1 to G800. Comma, field, you know, where is the column that you want to return? Now I can put this in two ways. I could, I could put number one, the first column is where the salesperson is, or in double inverted commas, I could type salesperson, which is a little bit more effort in this case, but would look better post-creation. It'd be easier for other people to read that than it would column one. If I put a comma again, the last step is where is the criteria, you know, what record are you looking for? In our case, we're choosing I2 to I3, I'm going to press my F4 shortcut to fix that as well. And a closing bracket. So it will look at I2 and look along row 1 for that heading. And it will look down column B once it's found it uh, and look for the order ID. Turn whatever's in column 1. So it's actually looking to the left of the column it's searching within. If I press enter, it returns Buchanan, which is what we expected within here. Now, just to showcase the difference, if I do click on that, cell again I can come up here change salesperson to one just to show that doing the business you know, it still works and I can change your order ID to 11252 it will tell me Pacino does that order so it is a, a look up in the whole of this database we've only got it to look for one thing your order ID here but it does have unlimited power it's got a lot more to it uh, than some other lookup functions you may have used before I'm just going to have a quick little example of that, quick demonstration in the, the cells below to now return the order amount, but for two conditions here, it has to be that order date and that salesperson. So let's get stuck straight in. We're going to write equals dget, open in bracket, where's your database? It is the same range, A1 to G800. What field would you like to return? It's number seven, or order amount. 
within the quotation marks. Comma, what is the criteria? It's this range here. What is that? I5 to J6. So the order date of the 23rd of July 2003 and the salesperson of Pacino. Close in bracket, press enter, and in bold as well. Maybe I didn't want that. And control B to unbold that. But 1614.88, that looks like that one there. We have 23rd of July and Pacino. So it's showing that you can look for you know, multiple conditions. And another note, also use the and and or logic. This one being and logic, as it has to be both. Not planning on going into in depth with that. You can check out some other uh, tutorials and some tips for that stuff. Um, but just bear in mind, there's two examples of the D get there. D get function, really useful lookup function. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out some more other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.